Hey everyone, this is Scott Wyden. Uh, I am uh, going to um, do a little screencast of On One Software's new Perfect Layers plugin for Photoshop and, I mean, I'm sorry, for Lightroom and for Aperture. Um, uh, I don't believe the Aperture version is ready yet, but um, uh, the Lightroom one is uh, coming out shortly. And I thought I'd do a little screencast for you. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, my Mac Pro is having some issues, so I'm going to be doing this on my uh, my MacBook. And um, I, don't, I don't really like doing masking uh, using the trackpad. I'd rather use my Wacom tablet. But unfortunately, uh, right now, uh, I'm running out of time to do the screencast, so I figured let me just do what I can. So. Um, as you can see, I already have perfect layers open, but I'm going to open Lightroom here. And these are just some shots from um, this past weekend when I met up with a bunch of guys in the city. And um, what I want to do is I want to take one, um, two of these shots and do some masking because the sky was incredible. And um, I really like the brightness of this part of the bridge, um, maybe even that one, but the sky I'm not too fond of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sky from this one, but you can see the bridge is almost black. So I'm going to mask in the sky from this shot and combine it with the bridge from this shot. And I'm going to show you how this can be done without Photoshop, just using On One Software's Perfect Layers. So I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go into File and plug in Extras, and we're going to go to Perfect Layers. And what you're going to see is it's going to uh, open up Perfect Layers with that layer uh, already here. And you can see Perfect Layers, um, it, it looks similar to Photoshop's Layers panel, how you have the layers over here. But if you look at masking, it's very similar to Photo Tools masking. You've got your walking controls, you've got your you know, masking bug, you've got your brush, your feather opacity. On the left you have some panels. Um, you have you know, the grab uh, cropping tool, transform tool, the trim tool, the masking brush tool, the masking bug tool, the pan tool, and the zoom tool. And of course, on. So, and over here you also have the navigator loop just like Photoshop. Um, you could fill you can uh, 100%, 50%, 25%, let's see, you can fit. Um, so 100% 100, 100 is going to bring in pretty deep. And as you can see, um, actually right here is the Statue of Liberty. This is the Brooklyn Bridge, by the way. So the Statue of Liberty is right here. Um, I do have another shot in this series with the Statue of Liberty in it as well, but uh, I thought this would be an interesting one to show you the, the, the demo of Perfect Layers. So here we have this layer open. And then I'm going to go back into Lightroom. And I'm going to choose... Oh, and you can just go here and add layer and just find the right file you want, which I'm going to do, but I want to show you that you can actually go here and do the same thing that you just did before and plug in extras into Perfect Layers. And then it'll actually ask you if you want to create a new layer with that image or if you want to um, merge it uh, together with the, with the layer or if you can cancel. So, but what we're, we're going to do is we're going to look. The file, no, the file name here is 1724 at the end. So um, I'm going to go here and add layers from file. Find 1724. Here it is. And I'm going to add this layer into my mix. And these are DNGs. So, um, oh, did I grab the wrong file? Yes, I grabbed the wrong file. I actually want the next one down. I want 1723. So actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to delete that layer. So there you go. Now you've seen me delete a layer. Um, so we're going to go back here and 1723. That's the dark sky I wanted. Let it convert. For some reason, it's still looking kind of bright. That's very strange. Not sure why it's doing that, but 
think I'll still use it. Why is that doing that? I'm not sure why it's doing that, so I'm going to delete this layer. I'm going to do it from Lightroom and see if it does it the way it should. So, as you can see, Merge, Cancel, Create. I'm going to create a new layer. And don't save. So there's the one layer and the other one. I just got to figure out where it went to. Why it's not showing up now. Uh, let's see. So for some reason it's acting kind of funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab the two frames that I want. And I'm going to redo this um, together at the same exact time. It should add both layers at once. And let's see how this does it. <clears throat> okay, there's our two layers. So we have the one with the bridge nicely exposed, and then we have the one with the sky showing all that drama. Um, during the sun, uh, it's, it's, this was about an hour before sunset that I took this, so. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to do some masking. Um, I am going to um, paint out the sky from um, the top layer. And I'm going to make the brush eyes bigger. And the feathering a little smaller and just to show you the dramatic um, you know difference and remember we're not in Photoshop so there is the sky but you can see the buildings too much so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo all that and we're gonna bump down the opacity and in one clean stroke, we're going to get everything. And then I can paint in the buildings again afterwards, but I want to make sure I get the sky good. And then I'm going to go through it one more time. Oop, that's too much. Bring down the opacity a little more. I want a little more darkness in that sky. Okay. Again, I'm not gonna. I'm not too precise because I'm using the trackpad instead of my Wacom tablet. Oops, that was too much. So there you have that. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna paint back the buildings a little bit to brighten them back up a little. Just a little bit, not too much. But as you can see, I was able to do this without Photoshop. Um, you can have a bunch of layers, you can do a whole lot of masking. Um, you even got the smart bug, um, which allows you to, I'm not smart bug, the masking bug, I'm sorry, um, that gives you the opacity, and you, know, you, you can change the width. This, is, this tool is very similar to the one that you see in their um, uh, focal point, um, in photo tools, um, and they decided to incorporate it into perfect layers. Now, obviously, this does not look good right here, but it, go it gives you an idea of what you can do. But we can um, actually delete that. So, um, so there you have it. Uh, the really cool thing about this is you can save it as a as a PSD file with your layers. So, if you really wanted to bring it into Photoshop, you could. Otherwise, um, you could bring it right into um, <clears throat> right into Lightroom or Aperture. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is I'm going to, oh, so we can save this right now as a PSD. So now it's um, saving.
So after you've saved your fo your uh, Photoshop uh, file, your PSD file, uh, from Perfect Layers, you can, if you want, go back to Export, File Export, and you can export it as a JPEG or a TIFF. Um, so that you do have an option for that as well. Just to show you what else is in here, you've got your Open Recent, uh, Add Layers to Files I showed you, New Open, um, so you can open a Photoshop layer, uh, a PSD file, uh, in Edit, Undo, Redo, comes in handy. You can adjust your canvas size, and your, you know, your layers tools, same thing you have on the, on the right panel. Your masking tools, uh, same thing you have on the other side as well. Uh, masking bug tools. Your zoom, you got your shortcuts. Uh, you know, so you got your basics all here. Everything that you would expect, basically. Um, oh, and don't forget that you can change the opac the uh, blending type of the layers. So, um, you know, very similar to Photoshop if you wanted to you know, do that. And just remember that you're doing this without having to open Photoshop. So Photoshop, which is a major resource hog, um, you know, when you only need it for certain things, perfect layers, uh, it's fast, it's convenient, and if you only need some, some masking, some, some basic layer adjustments, um, you know, it's, it's right there for you, right out of Lightroom or Aperture. So um, that is it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment, um, and I will try to answer what I can. And if I can't get the right answer um, myself, then I will uh, reach out to my friends at On One, and um, you know, they'll they'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. I'm sure. So um, please don't don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, Perfect Layers comes out soon. It's uh, going to be on sale when it first comes out in a very affordable price, and then it's going up a little bit. So, uh, and don't forget that after the sale, I do have a discount code. So make sure you check out my site, scottwyden.com slash discounts in order to um, get that discount code. So um, there you have it, perfect layers from On One Software. Uh, very quick uh, uh, screencast. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you... Uh, pick up a copy of Perfect Layers because if you're one who uses Photoshop very rarely for just some layer adjustment then P Perfect Layers is a perfect tool for you. Thanks for watching.